What's up, YouTube? Justin from Team Misplay here. You may be wondering what I'm doing on this laptop. I'll tell you what I'm fucking doing. I'm posting up all my shit on eBay now. It, it's ridiculous. First we hear the Dolka 10 and the Dolka reprint. And now we have the Zen Mains reprint? Really? I mean, I'm all for it you know, reprints of cards that are necessary. But, at, at the cost of what? Like, you know, I get it. These cards are popular and people want them. And I'm, by no means am I trying to be an elitist and say, because, you know, I have the cards and other people shouldn't have the cards. By all means, you know, everybody should have access to all the cards. But what's the point? What is the fucking point of even printing cards in any kind of rarity? I mean, Dolka was a secret. Zimmans was a secret. Now they're guaranteed in a tin. And it's, it, it's like, who cares? Like, there's no point in, like, collecting cards anymore. Um, there's no point in, like, trying to get cards because they're just going to get reprinted anyway. Um, yes, I'm raging, and yes, this is a rant. So welcome to my rant about reprints. And it seems like this is what happens, is Konami goes through a phase where they reprint everything. Like, everything gets reprinted. No matter what it is, it's going to get reprinted. If it's used in a deck, it's getting reprinted. And then they'll go through a phase where nothing gets reprinted. Not at all. Cards will just, people will be begging, pleading, just anything in the world. Give me a reprint. Give me a reprint. We need this card reprinted. This card is very important. This is a three of. It's hard to get. It's in a very high rarity. And you don't get a reprint of it. I, it's, it's the inconsistency of Konami in deciding whether they're going to reprint popular cards or not reprint popular cards because pre I want to say order, order of Chaos pre Order of Chaos nothing got reprinted the only thing you were guaranteed to reprint on was Utopia and I'm so sick of seeing that card reprinted doesn't matter what you buy you were gonna get a Utopia in it I did you buy a structure deck congratulations here's a Utopia uh, did you buy a starter deck? Here's a Utopia. You bought a battle pack. Here's a Utopia. You bought some jock age cream. Here's a fucking Utopia. Doesn't matter. You're going to get a fucking Utopia. But now it's like... It's, it's like way to just kill the game, Konami. You... All that you're doing is that you're releasing a whole new wave of people who will now have access to uh, Dino Rabbit, basically. Between the Battle Pack reprints and now the Dolka Tins, it's, it, everything for Dino Rabbit can completely be remade. And now I'm going to sit through a month between August and September before you inevitably ban all this shit for Dino Rabbit or limit it or semi-limit it or kill off the deck because this is what Konami does. They tantalize you and entice you and say, keep playing our game. Keep putting money into the game. We're giving you all these reprints. You know, Zen Mains is a popular card. Here's your Zen Mains, you know, and everybody goes out and they buy three tins and they get three Dolkas and they get three Zen Mains. And they're really feeling pumped. And then, like, three weeks later, you get the ban list. You realize you spent $60 on a card that's now limited. So even though you were thinking that maybe you could sell the extra Zen mains that you got, even though everybody else has one, now you really can't sell it because everybody else already has three copies of the Super Zen mains, and then nobody plays Dino Rabbit anymore because Rescue Rabbit gets hit to one, and then Hieratics and Lobbles and Insectors, and Chaos Dragons just take over, and Dino Rabbit can't even keep up, and now that Dino Rabbit's irrelevant, Nationals is done, who cares, so they're just gonna hit the shit anyway, and now you've wasted 60 bucks, so, I mean, you could've spent the 60 bucks and got a secret Zen Mains and just had it, 
or you spent 60 bucks on, you know, three, uh, three secret Dolkas and three Super Zen mains, and now you can only play one, and now you're sitting on fucking Zen mains that you can't use, and Blizzard Princess? Really? Blizzard Princess? I mean, that's probably the actual really good card that you should be looking at from this reprint. I mean, they've got a whole fucking archetype based on spellcasters coming out and all the stupid shit you can do with it but i i mean i'm getting off on a different point that's a rant for a different day but i'm just saying i would not be surprised if the next thing to get reprinted is rescue rabbit and i wouldn't i just just so konami can milk the shit out of its player base even more if we have the dolka tin with the zen mains and then the Exc excalibur tin comes with a rabbit and a lagia super. So now, not only do you have to buy three Dolka tins, because, I mean, come on, it's the Dolka tin. You're going to get a secret Dolka like you pulled it from Photon Shockwave. Um, and so you can get your three, you can get your three Dolkas, three Zimans or whatever. But now you have to buy three of the other tin because it comes with three rescue rabbits, which again, three weeks later, the ban list comes out. And surprise, surprise. Rescue Rabbit gets hit, and now you're sitting on extra supers of a card that nobody wants because everybody else already has three copies of it. I just, I beg and plead, let's get some consistency here. Either let's be, let's understand one another that, yes, Konami's going to print a card, and not necessarily that they break the card, but that the player base and the metagamers all find a way to come together and collectively break a card and make it super expensive and it just so happens that the card comes in the one rarity that is nearly impossible to get because Kevin Trollwert just wants to make money for a KDE US and takes Rabbit and turns it from a common or a rare in Japan and makes it a secret here just like Dad was a rare in Japan and it's a secret here and duality was a common in Japan. It was a secret here. And warnings were were only no uh, duality was a super in Japan. It's a secret here. Warnings were common or rare, and they came ultra and ultimate here. It's just thank you, thank you for bending us over the table, spitting in your hand, and wishing us luck as you raped us with the incessantly large amounts of stupid bullshit cards that we get in the sets to only get that one little gem and then find out you need to play three copies of that one gem and then people go out and they buy all the packs and the boxes and the cases to pull the cards or they have to go and deal with you know vendors and, the, and it's the vendors that you guys pick for your YCSs and your nationals, and they sit there and they dictate outrageous prices on cards as it is. And so people have to shell out money to these vendors that you've hand selected to vend at your events. And so they're juicing us for the cards, which then turns into us having to juice each other on the secondary market to make any of the cards we pull worth it. And after all is said and done and you've juiced the hell out of us because you're juicing the vendors at your events to pay stupid rent fees to put up a stupid booth then you decide after all is said and done even after we all know Konami hates hates just non-themed decks I mean come on they've made structured decks stronger every single time just because they would rather have an archetype deck win than a deck that's innovative enough to put a bunch of cards that happen to work together well after you've done enough raping of us getting the cards in the first place on the first print runs or the unlimited edition runs after we put in all that work to get these cards that you yourself have made just outrageously unreasonable to get you reprint it and it just it gives bad players a chance to play 
a deck and then herp derp all over you because they just happened to draw the one combo that a deck has. And it just makes good players say, why do I waste my time even trying to get these cards? And if anything, all you're promoting is that people will just wait. They're just going to wait. They're not going to buy your products. They're going to see what gets popular, and they're going to wait. And then they're going to get the reprint that's going to inevitably come until you decide again that it's time to be you know, very, uh, very stingy with your prints. <sighs> I know this has been a long rant, but it's how I've been feeling. And especially with the news that Zen Mains is now a super. And by all means, Zen Mains is a good card. It's a great card. Tour Guide reprinted Battle Pack and makes it accessible for everyone. But it's... <sighs> It's as if after they squeeze all the money out of a card that they can by hyping up product and hyping up the product so high that the distributors, because we all know Konami makes money on the front end because as soon as they print it, it goes out to the distributors. They hype the product to the distributors who hype the product to the individual stores. And so Konami makes all the money on the front end. And then once they really see what's hyped up, they start making reprints just so they can get some more money. But anyway, uh, as always, leave questions, comments, concerns in the section below. Um, yeah, I, I don't care if you don't agree with me at this point. Uh, if you want to argue with me, do that below. Um, thumbs up the video if you liked it. You know, thumbs down the video if you liked it. Yeah, subscribe to the channel or whatever. I just, I'm just upset now. Remember, it's not a pro play unless it's a misplay.